Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This lesson is about solving literal equations. Well, what is a literal equation? Well, on the left, I have 3x plus 8 equals negative 14, or y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. Now, usually when we think of an equation, we have one variable, and um, we just do a bunch of algebra steps and follow some of the rules, and we can solve for, in this case, x, all right? Or we have maybe an xy equation, these are usually called linear equations. And um, we are given the value of either x or y, and we can solve for the other one. Those are typical examples of equations. Well, here is a literal equation. In blue here, I have literal equations. Now, this is what it means. A literal equation has at least two variables. And the idea is we don't solve. We don't come up with an answer. In solving a literal equation, what we do is we manipulate through algebra rules and uh, proper mathematical procedures, and we rewrite the equation. All right, so here's for an example, a equals 2b minus c. That's what a equals. What if we wanted to know how to manipulate it and show everything in terms of c? All right, um, how about 3y plus 2x equals 48? Okay, I can use I can solve it as a literal equation and figure out what X actually is it's a formula for finding X D equals R squared plus 7 J well maybe we want to know how to rewrite it in terms of R now over here on the right I have um, an example of formulas found usually in science classes okay F equals M times a force equals mass times acceleration all right usually kind of a physics equation that people use well, force is capital F, and it means that we do mass times acceleration. What if we want to know how acceleration is determined? So we solve that as a literal equation. Next one is D equals R times T, typical math equation. Distance equals rate times time, calculating speed. And if we want to write it in terms of T time, you solve it as a literal equation. So let's take a look at how you would do the solving. Let's start with the two easiest examples from physics and mathematics. And that is the force equation. Force equals mass times acceleration. To solve this as a literal equation, we want to choose another variable to rewrite the equation into. In other words, what if we want to know how acceleration is calculated? So we treat that as a variable, which it is, and we get rid of everything else on that side. In this case, we're going to divide everything by m. All right? so the same formula force equals mass times acceleration can be written in terms of acceleration and that means that if we know the force we divide it by the mass or the weight of an object all right so we have solved it as a literal equation we don't have an answer we just manipulate it and rewrite it in a different form all right what if i want to know the rate of speed okay how do you do that well we undo the times t by dividing by t. It's always using an opposite operation. And then we rewrite it. So r equals the distance traveled divided by how long it took to travel it. Distance divided by time. Okay, those are two very simple examples of literal equations. So here are some examples for you to try. In the first equation, a equals 2b minus c. I want you to solve it in terms of b. In this one, I want you to solve it in terms of y. And on this one, I want you to solve it in terms of r. So hit pause on the video, and you want to undo it using opposite operations in inverse order. You give it a try, and then I'll talk about it. All right, on the first one, instead of a equal, a equals we want B equals so what we're gonna do is we're gonna isolate B in other words let's go ahead and add C to each side 
and I'm just going to move it over here. Um, we have a plus c. We don't know the value of those, so we just write it as an expression. And that equals 2b. And again, the goal is to isolate b. We can't end up with 2b. Well, that shows multiplication, right? So the opposite of that is division. So we're going to divide both parts on the left by 2. And so to rewrite this and solve it as a literal equation, b would be a plus c, and then we divide the result by 2. All right, so we're manipulating the original equation. I hope that's what you got. On this one, we want to isolate the y. Well, first of all, let's get the 2x on the right, so we're going to subtract it. Okay, undo operations inverse here. And those two x's are going to cancel out. So, so far I have 3y on the left and 48 minus 2x. Now I could rearrange those if I wanted to and say minus 2x plus 48, but it doesn't matter. If I'm going to say 3y, the opposite is dividing by 3, and so I would divide everything there by 3. Okay, now it looks like it, things have gotten more complicated, but again, we're just manipulating the equation to serve in tom, uh, to solve in terms of a different variable. Um, let's go ahead and leave it in this form. I could simplify it a little bit and kind of make some fractions here, but let's go ahead and leave it 48 minus 2x over 3. All right, and finally, now we have an exponent, so let's see what happens there. I'm going to subtract 7j from each side, and that will give me d minus 7j equals r squared. All right, well, what do you do with an exponent like r squared? Well, if I'm going to take an r value and square it, the opposite is to take the square root. So if I take the square root of r squared, then I need to take the square root of that right there. All right, and to finish this up, hopefully you've tried this and you gave it a shot. I'm going to put the r on the left there, and r is going to be the square root of d minus 7j. All right, so if I knew what d and j are, now I could actually figure out what uh, sorry, if what D and J are, I could find what R is. So I've manipulated the equation that's called solving literal equations. Thanks for watching this video, and there will be more practice problems for you to try. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.